A B12 deficiency uncovered special presentation. How SIBO can lead to B12 deficiency. It is important to understand how SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, can cause a deficiency in vitamin B12, which can lead to various health complications. SIBO can cause B12 deficiency in several ways. It's difficult to estimate how many individuals are affected by SIBO, which often goes undetected by medical professionals. To delve deeper into this topic, we must examine each aspect carefully. Let's begin by discussing how SIBO can have devastating effects in the small intestine. SIBO occurs when there is an abnormal increase in the number and types of bacteria in the small intestine, which typically are found in much higher levels in the large intestine. These bacteria start fermenting carbohydrates from undigested food in the small intestine, producing excess gas, specifically hydrogen and methane. These gases can disrupt the normal functioning of the small intestine, causing difficulties with digestion and absorption of essential nutrients, including vitamin B12. The absorption of vitamin B12 and other essential nutrients is a crucial function of the small intestine. In a healthy gut, B12 is bound to intrinsic factor, a protein produced by the parietal cells in the stomach. The B12 intrinsic factor complex then travels to the ileum, the final portion of the small intestine. Upon release of the intrinsic factor, B12 is absorbed into the bloodstream. However, in cases of SIBO, bacterial overgrowth can disrupt this process in various ways. 1. Block the binding of intrinsic factor to B12. SIBO can disrupt the delicate balance needed for this binding process, potentially leading to impaired absorption of B12 and, consequently, B12 deficiency. 2. Bacterial competition. The overgrown bacteria in the small intestine may compete with the body for the available B12, reducing the amount of B12 that can be absorbed. 3. Bacterial inflammation and damage. Excessive bacterial fermentation and gas production can lead to inflammation and damage to the small intestine's lining, including the cells responsible for B12 absorption. 4. Production of toxins. Some bacteria in the small intestine can produce toxins that damage the intestinal lining, impacting the absorption of nutrients including B12. 5. Bile salts and pancreatic enzyme disruption. SIBO can also cause impairment of bile salt production and release, which is necessary for the emulsification of fats, and for the proper absorption of B12. Additionally, if the pancreas is affected, the production of digestive enzymes needed for B12 absorption, may be compromised. This can result in the prevention of B12 absorption. The pancreas plays a critical role in producing vital digestive enzymes. These enzymes break down proteins, carbohydrates, and fats into smaller molecules, which the body can absorb and utilize effectively. When it comes to the absorption of B12, the pancreas is vital because it creates specific digestive enzymes. Protease enzymes are particularly important because they help break down proteins, such as intrinsic factor, which is necessary for B12 absorption. When we eat food containing vitamin B12, it binds with intrinsic factor in our stomach. This complex then travels to the ileum, the final part of the small intestine. Here, specific cells called enterocytes or absorptive cells, line the walls of the ileum and absorb various nutrients, including vitamin B12. These cells have receptors with a strong attraction to the B12 intrinsic factor complex. When the complex attaches to certain spots on the surface of enterocytes, cells in the small intestine, it enters the cells through a special doorway called receptor-mediated endocytosis. After reaching the enterocytes, B12 is separated from intrinsic factor by the work of a specific protease enzyme called trypsin. The freed B12 molecule then attaches to a transporting protein carrier molecule called transcobalamin 2, TC2. This complex of B12 and TC2 is then released into the bloodstream, allowing it to be distributed to different tissues and cells that require vitamin B12 for their proper functioning. The process of B12 absorption is strictly regulated. It relies on a healthy gut, intrinsic factor, 
efficient functioning of enterocytes, and the specific receptors of the cells in the ileum to effectively attach to the B12 intrinsic factor complex. Any disruption or malfunctioning in any of these components, including the absence of the trypsin enzyme, can lead to B12 malabsorption, resulting in a deficiency that can cause serious health complications. If the pancreas is not functioning properly, due to chronic pancreatitis, cystic fibrosis, or pancreatic cancer, it may not produce enough digestive enzymes, including proteases. As mentioned, the trypsin enzyme is necessary for breaking down intrinsic factor, which is crucial for absorbing B12 effectively in the small intestine. The availability of the protease enzyme, trypsin, is necessary for B12 absorption, but it is not directly related to bile salts. However, bile salts play a role in fat digestion, which can indirectly impact B12 absorption efficiency. This is because fat digestion influences the overall digestive environment in the small intestine. The liver creates bile salts and stores them in the gallbladder until they are needed during digestion. Bile salts primary function is to help break down fats in our food. When we consume food that contains B12, which is mainly found in animal products, it is attached to proteins. The presence of hydrochloric acid in the stomach is essential for activating pepsin, an enzyme responsible for breaking down these proteins. This process separates B12 from the proteins, allowing it to bind to the intrinsic factor. When partially digested food reaches the small intestine, bile salts are released to break down the fats in the food. This process is called emulsification, which breaks down fats into smaller droplets, allowing digestive enzymes to work more effectively. The fats in B12 are now ready to be absorbed in the ileum, the last part of the small intestine. However, fat digestion and absorption can be affected if there are issues with bile salt production or release, such as in cholestasis or gallbladder disease. Adequate bile salts are necessary to break down fats properly, and to create smaller droplets for easier digestion and absorption in the ileum. The intrinsic factor, a protein made in the stomach, is essential because it binds with B12 to form a complex that the lining of the ileum can absorb through special receptors. If the emulsification process is affected, B12 absorption can be compromised, even if you consume enough B12 in your diet. Additionally, some individuals may have conditions that affect their pancreas, liver, or gallbladder, leading to insufficient production of digestive enzymes and bile salts. This can increase the chances of B12 not being absorbed correctly. Therefore, proper pancreatic, liver, and gallbladder function is critical for the optimal absorption of B12. If these organs are not functioning correctly, it can lead to B12 deficiency and various health issues. It is crucial to manage these conditions appropriately, to ensure that critical nutrients like essential fats and B12 are absorbed correctly. B12 is critical for many functions in the body, and a deficiency can cause various symptoms and health problems. Some of the symptoms and consequences of B12 deficiency caused by SIBO include 1. Anemia. Getting enough B12 is essential for producing healthy red blood cells. When the body lacks B12, it can lead to anemia, which can cause symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, pale skin, and difficulty breathing. 2. Neurological problems. Vitamin B12 deficiency can interfere with proper nerve function leading to symptoms such as numbness and tingling in the extremities, balance issues, memory problems, and trouble focusing. 3. Fatigue and weakness. Without adequate B12, the body may struggle to produce enough energy, leading to persistent fatigue and weakness. 4. Cognitive and mood disturbances. B12 deficiency has been linked to cognitive decline and mood changes, including depression and anxiety. 6. Glossitis. When a person lacks vitamin B12, it can lead to glossitis, which is tongue inflammation, causing pain, redness, and swelling. In order to resolve B12 deficiency caused by SIBO, it is essential to identify and address the underlying factors that led to the overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine. To effectively tackle B12 deficiency, balance your gut bacteria, and ease SIBO symptoms, it's crucial to collaborate with a healthcare expert who specializes in digestive issues. Seeking the right diagnosis and treatment for SIBO can ensure a healthy gut and improve B12 absorption. In summary, SIBO can interfere with the normal function of the small intestine, causing a hindrance in the absorption of B12, 
and resulting in a deficiency of this vital nutrient. B12 deficiency can lead to several symptoms and health issues that affect overall well-being. It is crucial to address SIBO and its impact on B12 absorption, to ensure good health and avoid further complications. Proper diagnosis and treatment of both SIBO and B12 deficiency, are crucial for restoring gut health and preventing long-term complications. If you're curious about the effects of SIBO on our health, be sure to visit my dedicated YouTube channel, where I delve into comprehensive information on SIBO and its impact on the digestive system and overall well-being. Discover valuable insights and practical tips to manage SIBO effectively. Don't forget to subscribe for regular updates and expert knowledge on this topic. See the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.